In the governor's State of the State address, the school voucher debate resurfaced. Moving forward, we want to continue to dramatically improve existing schools and give parents the opportunity to choose legitimate alternatives to failing schools. Sides have been split on expanding the program that uses tax money to pay for lower income students to attend private schools. The measure failed to win approval in Green Bay in Walker's first two years in office. And now, as Fox 11's Mark Leland found out today, both sides are ready to make their case again. Governor Scott Walker is vowing to readdress the expansion of the school voucher system. The aim is to give struggling students the opportunity to succeed at state expense at a private school. How would that benefit uh, Notre Dame? Well, I think it benefits families and kids. Uh, President Bob Pauley says his school has room for about 15 additional students a year with a voucher program. In Milwaukee, where vouchers are already used, the state pays up to $6,400 a child. The money is taken from local public school districts. Tuition at Notre Dame is about $5,000 a year. I'm not looking to undermine their kids, their schools. What we'd like to offer is the option for a faith-based education. Green Bay is one of the districts targeted for the voucher program in the past. Administrators oppose the voucher plan, saying if it's an alternative to traditional education, they are already providing those programs throughout the district, like the International Baccalaureate program here at West High School. Uh, people talk about choice. We have expanded the choice offer offerings in our schools dramatically in recent years. In addition to the IB program in all grades, other options for students now include a fine arts academy, a technical college partnership, and a charter school. Our schools are not failing. We are in the process of ensuring that every child is college, career, and community ready. Superintendent Michelle Langenfeld says funding alternative programs would be eroded with the voucher program. The piece that's problematic is that the dollars would be taken out of the public dollars for public education to educate all children and put in a private setting without any voice from the local control, from the taxpayer. Green Bay schools are an open book, test scores, budgets, you name it, while private schools don't fall under the same scrutiny. Polly says student achievement, though, will be closely watched. I think competition is good. It's good for everybody. It's good for us to hold us accountable. It's good for the public schools so that they maximize their product, their educational product. Green Bay administrators are hoping the public gets involved in the debate through planned gatherings at area schools and a state of the district address next week. In Green Bay, Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. Now the governor has yet to reveal any details about expanding the voucher program that's likely to be addressed when he reveals his budget next month.